I'm Manish from betoni.com and I'm a Magento Certified Developer class. In this series, I'll be providing you information on how you can configure and manage Magento to store. So, in, a, in, in the previous video, we have seen how you can uh, set up your currency. And now we'll be seeing how you can import the, the exchange rates, you know, proper exchange rates. So, in our case, INR is the is the base currency so all other currencies will be set up on the basis of uh, the INR uh, so first of all uh, how I got here I need to tell you go to the stores section just a second click on stores click on currency rates and then we have you can import from any of these options but since we have set up Yahoo Finance Exchange in the uh, in, in the auto update section as well. So let's import from Yahoo Finance Exchange, and we'll be able to get the exact currency rates. As you see, the rates has been updated. Okay, now save it. And obviously you need to update the cache before that let's see one more option let's see currency symbols option so here we have set we have uh, set three currencies to use so you can also you know uh, either you can use the standard uh, dollar sign a dollar sign or maybe you know you can change it to something like you know AUD and then something like that okay. or you can just revert it to the original one or for the rupees as well you can either use this or use the standard one so we don't need to save anything as we have not changed anything after that refresh the cache and delete the cache as we have done in the previous tutorials and we should be good to go Let's see one more thing in this video. Let's go to store configuration. And let's see the reports section. So in the report section, you can set up the configuration on how you want to see the information on your dashboard so air to start air to start date starts from like you know you can set up the dates and current month start from one so you can generally you don't need to change these things you can keep it as is so there will not be any uh, like if you unless you have you have a specific needs uh, you don't need to make any changes here this is the content management uh, configuration so if you want to enable uh, visible editor you can just it is enabled by default if you want to disable it then you can you know, uh, disable or maybe if you want to use another visible editor your custom one then you can disable the default one and then use your own so in our case let's use the standard one use static URLs for media Content in Visible for catalog. So you know this this particular option. You know uh, you can keep it as no. If you have a static need where where uh, you you want to use this feature, you can enable it to yes and use the static you know URLs for your media and stuff. So this is all. If you want to set up new relic reporting system, if you if you want to use it, and uh, you know you have uh, you have you have signed up for it and you have the API. And things like that you can enable option from here and then you'll be able to provide your a new relic account id application id and you know, api key and things like that here and you will be able to set it up you can use new relic reporting as well and you'll be able to set up the crone for new relic here you can enable it or disable it by default it's disabled and you can enable it here that's all for this video thanks for watching take care